A unique look inside the world's largest wholesale produce market, and it's located right here in the Bronx. The Hunts Point Produce Market is critical in maintaining the region's food supply, and as you would expect, they've had to adapt since this pandemic hit. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McGowan with more. When you see produce in grocery stores, much of it comes through distribution centers like this one here at Hunts Point Market. They are essential workers. They know that they are important to getting food on the table. All we do is distribute to the uh, to the grocery stores, to the hospitals, to the restaurants, to the hotels, all the good things that used to be in New York. The work is nonstop at Hunts Point Market. 1,800 workers bringing in food from farmers and then loading that produce onto trucks so it can be on grocery store shelves for customers. And in the midst of a pandemic, they've had to adjust. It's a very close environment here, so lots of handshakes, lots of hugs, lots of everybody close and, and working in close quarters. We had to find a way to spread everybody out um, and, and really just access to materials to keep us safe. With the restaurant industry mostly closed, they've taken a hit, losing 30%, roughly $112 million in business. But when it comes to grocery stores, they compare the demand to a holiday. It's been 10 weeks of holiday season. And they're working to keep up with a diminished workforce. Some of those workers are sick, others unable to work with their children out of school. There's times where our company is working well at 44% of our staff. Uh, when, when the demand is coming up and our business is still so high, we have to figure out a way to still get it off of our trucks and onto somebody else's trucks. They're essential and they feel the pressure to keep everyone safe and fed. This whole thing has made me nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm loaded with anxiety. I don't know what the future has to hold. And they've been working with this excess food, trying to get it to food banks. One wholesaler I spoke with says he's been able to avoid any layoffs or furloughs, hoping that they can make up for any loss experienced from the restaurant industry.